Okay, so welcome to Wide Family Farm. Today I am making a pineapple upside down cake. Um, there's nothing really special about this. However, my mom specifically remembers making it in a cast iron skillet. So that is what I'm doing. And you can hear Fred bouncing around in the background and I can't do anything about that. So we're gonna have some kid entertainment in the background. But I went ahead and melted a half a cup of butter and now I'm sprinkling in the brown sugar. Um, this is for the top part. Obviously it's an upside down cake so I'm making the top part first. And it's going to take me a minute just to sprinkle all this in. This was a full cup of brown sugar packed so it's going to take me a second but I'm just adding this in. It's going to be so good. This is like one of my favorite cakes and when I remember when I was little my grandmother used to make this and she made it so good and she used green cherries there were green and red cherries um i i you can't find the green ones i don't think anymore um but there was green and red cherries and she used to make it um with that all decked out so um yeah so let me finish this up and then i will do the rest you know you can watch me make this pineapple upside down cake Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. My pan is already seasoned. And um, this is a large, uh, a lodge cast iron skillet. It's the medium size one. I don't know the numbers on it, but it is a medium size skillet. I have a small, medium, and a large, and this is a medium one. I can't wait to decorate this. That's the fun part, right? So, finish this up oh my gosh this is a ton of brown sugar but I'm following the recipe but it's a ton of brown sugar and just a little bit more It's really sticking to my hands. Oh no. All right. I decided to just sprinkle it in. So that's what I'm doing. And um, yeah. So I got a little bit left in here. I'm just going to dump it in. All right. So now I'm going to open up the can of pineapple and the cherries and get that started. Okay. So I have all of that in there, and now I'm gonna do the pineapples. This is a regular can of pineapple. I remember doing this and like my grandmother always draining the uh, pineapple juice for me to drink. Got a little mug here. So I'm going to just put them here and there on the bottom of this skillet. This is what makes it good. one in the center okay open the can of marchino cherries it calls for 10 but I am not just putting 10 in there <laughs> so there is nothing special about this cake I'm just letting you know it just meant something to me um, this is a boxed cake I didn't make it from scratch or anything I'm gonna put a cherry in every center. Pineapple. Okay. 
And yes, I'm decking this thing out. I'm not messing around. So. Everybody's going to be so happy when they eat this. It's been a long, long time since I've had it like this, to be honest. Last time I made it, I messed up the cake. <laughs> so I didn't burn it, but I messed it up. We like cherries. Uh, it's like my favorite fruit. Okay. I don't see where I can put it anywhere else. <laughs> okay. So we have that. That's what the cake is going to look like on the top when it's done. And now, by the way, this is the cake mix that I'm making. You can see right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, start on the actual cake part. Okay, so I'm going to use my KitchenAid mixer for mixing all the ingredients. It calls for three, three eggs, um, a half a cup of oil, a cup of water, and then the actual mix. I am going to use a bowl to put my shells in. Um, and I also am gonna crack them over that because I don't want shells in my cake. And lift this up, which is already on that load. It's super heavy. I suck at cracking eggs. Just an FYI. I'm not good at it. Some people can do this with one hand. I cannot. My hands are super small. It just never works out. There's three eggs that it calls for. without scissors. It's horrible at opening things as well. I usually just cut tops off the things. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to pour in my mixture. Water and oil. I'm using canola oil. It calls for vegetable oil as well. You can use both there's some water, there's some oil, okay, and then I'm going to lock my mixer into place and put it on low and stir that until it's done. Okay, one thing I didn't tell you is I already have my oven on 350, so that is ready to go. Okay, so it's still mixing. Oh. 
this. I love this spatula. It is rounded at the end so you can, it's like a spoon as well. So it gets into all the crevices. And that's it for that part. Part because I don't know what that pan size is. So I'm going to put it on the 13 by nine. And I'm going to start it and put it in for 22 minutes, and then I'm going to check the center. If it's still not done, then it, the, from there I can put it on for 27, and that should be uh, okay for 22 minutes. And then in 22 minutes, I'm going to check it again. And yes, I do have smoke coming from my oven, but it spilled over a little bit. So I ch tested the center, just like you're supposed to do. I did it with a knife. And it's just, it's not done in the center. Not at all. So I'm going to stick it back in for just a few more minutes and let it cook in there. Um, probably another... 10 more minutes. So I just took it out of the oven and I'm going to test the center again. And hold on one second. And it's perfect. There's nothing on the knife. It is completely done. It's a little brown on the edges, but that's okay. And now it's just all a matter of it cooling down so we can turn it over. Okay, so I flipped the cake and this is what it looks like. Look how moist it is. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. Hi right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you all in the next video. Have a good one.